Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again coming to you with a uh, th first of three videos that I'm going to make on some watches that were very nicely loaned into the channel by a watch company called Ernst Benz. I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, I was uh, given contact information uh, to Ernst Benz by this guy, the watch lounge. I know that's upside down, but the watch lounge. Uh, Chris, who owns the watch lounge channel, put me in contact with Ernst Benz so that I could uh, get this kit of watches. Now, we see that uh, OFD watch channel has had this before. Bobby Legs has had this before. Wrong Time Watch has had this, and so has Chris over at Watch Lounge. Now, I put my name on the box as well. Um... There are three watches in this case. Very nice uh, attache looking case, as you can see. Uh, kind of a carrying case theme going on there. And there you can see Chris's uh, name right side up. Um, and inside here are three watches, very nice watches. I'm going to make three separate videos uh, reviewing these watches. And, uh, but I just wanted to get an overall look at the, um, at the uh, case. And now that we've uh, looked at that, open her up. And there are the watches in question. Uh, these are all from the uh, Chrono Lunar line that Ernst Benz does. And we're going to start with this watch here, move to this one in the second video, and this one in the third video. So for now, I'm going to ask you to ignore these two watches. And I'm going to push this back a little bit to give me some room. And I'm going to pull out watch number one. Take it off of its little pillow here. Put that back. And what we have here is... The Ernst Benz uh, Chrono Lunar uh, model number GC20312. It is a um, it is a uh, a sportier watch. Um, it does have a chronograph, as you can see, and a moon phase, hence the name Chrono Lunar. I'm going to fire up the uh, chronograph so you can watch it work. Um, very nice. I, I mean, all three of these watches were fantastic to uh, work with. Um, this one is a very nice watch. Uh, it is the smallest of the, of the trio, of course. Um, but there's a lot going on on this dial. So uh, let's let's uh, let's walk through the dial real quick. You see, you have um, on the outer track, as you can see, you have uh, the date. You have this red pointer with the little half moon going on, pointing to the uh, the date, um, and it runs all the way around from one all the way around to thirty one. Now, this is not a annual calendar or a perpetual calendar. You're going to have to adjust this uh, yourself uh, for you know 30 or 31 or 28 or 29 day months depending but easy enough to do with the uh, with the crown um, at the 12 o'clock sub dial you have the chronograph minutes that is labeled minutes right there uh, chronograph minutes indicator you also have your day and month feature. 
Now, this obviously says it's June 7th, uh, 2021. You're probably not seeing this until well into July because of the way I do things. Uh, I, I stack videos up uh, over time and bank them away. So you're probably not seeing this until July 2021, but that's the difference. Down at the 6 o'clock, you have another subdial, which is both a moon phase, and you can see the moon right there. Uh, I don't know if the moon phase, it's probably not right. Uh, I didn't set the moon phase. I just left it alone. You also have chronograph hours, and it does say hours there. Um, you also, at the nine o'clock position, you have a third subdial. You have a, a dual function subdial. You both have the running seconds for the watch and you have a 24 hour indicator. Um, so right now, obviously it's just about two o'clock PM. You can see that it's, you know, it's on the other side of the uh, 12 o'clock there. Uh, on the 24-hour indicator. Of course, you have hours and minutes, and you have the chronograph second hand. And the chronograph is start and stop with the top button, and it's reset with the bottom button. And it's, you know, just snaps back to a uh, place, as you can see. Very, very uh, efficient design, uh, telling you a lot of information on the dial and yet being very readable. I, I, and I got to say, uh, I love the cathedral uh, hour hand. I think that is a beautiful looking um, detail. On the back side, you have uh, an exhibition case back. You can see the uh, movement. Not, very, not extremely decorated, but decorated enough where it is a good looking uh, piece. Um, I believe that pusher right there is to set the day of the week, uh, or it might be the month. I, 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 I actually didn't try to play with it. Uh, so I'm not really sure it's either the day or the, uh, the month because the lunar is set with, uh, with the crown. It is a uh, non-screw down crown. Uh, it is a hackable movement. We'll get to that in a minute, as you can see. Um, sign crown, of course. I love the uh, piston style pushers. Very, very vintage look. Now, the strap. This is one of my straps. This is actually a collareb strap. As you can see here, the reason I put one of my own straps on this thing, because in order to wear it, I had to do that. The strap that this watch comes with is this alligator strap. And it's a very nice strap. I mean, there's uh, there's um, nothing wrong with it. You can see it. It's an authentic alligator strap. Nothing wrong with it at all. It's very it's a very nicely done strap. But if you look, for example holding this piece up to the watch at roughly where the lug would be, you can see it's a little, well, no, this one is actually the right length. I think it was this piece was short for me. Yeah, this was the short piece. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but with the standard, um, alligator strap it just didn't fit me it, it barely fit around my wrist whereas the collar ab i know fits because it's part of my personal collection and i've had this on other watches before so i know for example that this watch strap fits me and as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist the watch fits beautifully very long lugs. That may have accounted for some of the uh, fitment problem, but if I was buying this watch from Ernst Benz, I would probably specify a longer strap than what came with it. But, you know, 
it, it, luckily I have plenty of straps in my in my in my uh, watch parts stash, so um, making this watch fit was no no big deal at all. I have my sheet o facts here so we're going to go over the vital statistics of this specific watch you can learn more about it as i said this is an ernst benz chrono lunar they make these in various sizes this happens to be one of the smaller size watches or the smallest of the three this is a 40 millimeter case uh 20 millimeter lug 47 millimeter 47.8 millimeters, so almost a 48 millimeter tip to tip. This is a broad watch to be sure. And as you saw on my wrist shot, it fits me broadly. Uh, very long lugs on this. Uh, and it is uh, 16.1 millimeters thick. It's a uh, 50 meter water resistant. Uh, so not what I'm gonna call a swimmer's watch. I mean, it can get wet briefly, rain shower, washing your hands. Uh, I wouldn't soak it for underwater for a very long period of time. This is not a screw down crown as I showed you. These are not screw down pushers. Uh, they, you know, they're sealed up pretty good, but you know, I wouldn't have a lot of confidence in, these, in this watch taking a lot of liquid uh, for a long time. Uh, sapphire crystals front and back, as you would expect at this price level. Uh, the movement you're looking at is a Valju 7751, Valju 7751 movement. Uh, as you saw, it is a hand wind movement. It does hack. It does have chronograph function. It has moon phase. It has all kinds of uh, function with it. It is a very, very solid Swiss made high-end movement. Um, I have a great experience with Valju 7750s in um, many of my uh, other watches, including all of my ZX watches from Zelos. I can tell you that they are problem-free movements and I would suspect the 7751, of which it is a derivative of the 7750, is certainly going to be a trouble-free movement. <clears throat> the case is 316L stainless steel. And as I showed you, the alligator strap is a, uh, it's an option uh, with this watch. According to the invoice I got, it is a $400 upgrade on this watch. The watch, as you see it with the alligator strap, is $5,925 US. That is a snapshot in time, of course. In June of 2021, the price could go up or down uh, depending on, on things uh, over time. Um, great little watch. I mean, uh, no doubt. I have heard of Ernst Benz before. I know they are a solid uh, Swiss-made watch, solid movements, well-built. I mean, the polish on this thing is beautifully done. The case is beautifully done. Uh, it checks all the right marks for a $6,000 watch. Um, I would have no problems recommending this watch to someone who's looking for a higher-end sport watch. I think it's a beautiful piece. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> um, and I'm very grateful that uh, Ernst Benz was uh, kind enough to loan this watch to me. Um... It fits very, I wore this uh, for several days in a row, uh, all day comfortably. It, 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 it has good heft to it without being overbearing. And it's just a beautiful piece to look at. It's easy to tell time at a glance. Uh, it has plenty of complications um, uh, to wow your friends and, and uh, mesmerize yourself. I think it's a great watch. And on that happy note, I'm going to wrap the video up. I hope you found this uh, video to be entertaining, informative, useful. If you did, I would appreciate you clicking that thumbs up button. Clicking the thumbs up button does help with respect to uh, helping channel growth. 
uh, and as to do with the YouTube algorithms, uh, the search algorithms, um, and the more likes a video get, the more likely it will appear in a search. So that does help. Uh, comments, questions, and suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. Uh, if you are going to troll my comment section, however, I will delete the comment and block you. Um, if you're new to the channel, of course, uh, welcome. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. And I, of course, I appreciate all my subscribers stopping by. I probably don't say that enough, but I do appreciate all the subscribers that I have and uh, the support they've given me over over time. I also appreciate my new uh, viewers. And I hope that you will uh, take advantage of the opportunity to, to check out a lot of my videos. All I ask in return is that you do click that subscribe button before you leave. And when you do, click the bell icon as well. So that when I do upload new content, you will be alerted uh, to that fact. And uh, also when I do live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Or at other times during the week when uh, opportunity avails itself to me. Uh, you will be alerted when those um, live streams start. Uh, otherwise, it is still out there a crazy old world, and I hope everyone stays healthy, happy, uh, and be careful, and I'll see you in my next video.